Today's video, I'm talking about whether you're doing CrossFit fully. So let's talk CrossFit. Are you doing it 100% or are you doing half CrossFit? When Greg Glassman describes fitness in 100 words, he starts, his first paragraph is entirely about the nutrition side of it, about what you should be eating. And I think a lot of people, when they do CrossFit, all they're doing is exercise element, and they're not doing anything regarding nutrition, which is why they're not going to get maximum results from what they're doing, because they're not doing CrossFit, they're doing the exercise part of CrossFit. You need to look at your nutrition if you want to get, maximize your results and your performance. Not just about body composition, but obviously that is a factor. If you're heavier, you're going to be slower. If you're carrying too much body fat, you're going to be less healthy, and you're not going to be able to do some of the movements, body weight movements, to your maximum efficiency. So you do need to be looking at that in terms of body composition and size, because that will make a difference to your performance. In addition to that, though, you've also got to make sure you're taking on enough micro and macronutrients when you're training. Because if you're not getting enough protein, you're not going to get um, the muscles going to, not going to develop as well as they should do. You're also going to be more lethargic. You're not going to be able to recover as quickly. So just one macronutrient that you're not getting enough of can make a big difference. If you're getting too much sugar in your diet, then are you doing everything you can to um, prevent chronic disease, which is one of the main principles of CrossFit, is that it's going to help you prevent that chronic disease that is caused by high intake of sugar, high intake of alcohol, um, too much body fat, sedentary lifestyle. All of those elements are going to be tackled and helped by doing CrossFit to its fullest. The other thing in terms of preventing disease, preventing ailments, um, feeling better, is your micronutrient intake. Are you looking at getting enough fish oil? Are you looking at getting enough magnesium? Are you getting good quality of those um, nutrients as well? Because a lot of people, they take fish oil that they get from um, well-known distributors, well-known uh, shops on the high street. And if you actually look at how much fish oil you're getting and the quality, you have to take shed loads of um, high street stores fish oil to get the required amount each day, which is 2,000 um, milligrams of fish oil. And in there, you need to get the right ratio of EPA and DHA as well. So you need to be looking at that. Are you supplementing that way? Are you getting enough vitamin D? Are you getting um, the nutrients that you're going to need to fuel your body? Remember, the food is the fuel. Okay? Your cells require nutrients to develop and survive. If you're not getting those nutrients, then you're going to be making sacrifices with your body and with your health. So it's really, really important you address that issue. Before you start claiming, I do CrossFit, you've got to make sure, are you doing what Greg Glassman set out to do, which is to improve your health, okay? To move yourself from unwell to wellness, okay? You're moving on the path to wellness. That's the goal of CrossFit. So the whole of CrossFit has to include nutrition. And maybe we've been lacking on that side here. Um, in terms of with our training. So maybe we need to be more focused that way with what we do. I know that um, definitely from my observations with our clients, a lot of them aren't doing enough with their nutrition side of things to be able to say they're doing, you know, CrossFit to its fullest. So you need to be looking at that yourself. You need to be thinking, what am I doing today that's going to help me get on that path to wellness? And the most important thing about that is your nutrition. One good tip is Dedicate your Sunday wad, okay, those of you here at CrossFit Children, dedicate your Sunday wad to being, to your food, to your food prep, to your planning. Um, one hour on a Sunday can go a long way, okay? It's going to do better off doing one hour of that than going for a jog for an hour or going to the gym for an hour. If you can dedicate one hour towards looking after your food, then you're going to be much better off, okay? That's going to be exponentially more beneficial to you than an hour of exercise that day. So here's a little tip. Sunday's wad is always going to be sort out your food for the week. And we're going to talk a little bit about that in the future blog and talk about food tracking, food prepping. Um, but for now, your goal is to go from just doing half of CrossFit 
to doing CrossFit in its entirety, and then you can claim, yes, I do CrossFit, and you will reap the rewards. I, I guarantee it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, more videos to come. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and check us out on Facebook for some more great info. Plus, don't forget to read the blog. Thanks, guys.